Hello and welcome to a new video about this stepper motor driver thingy here. So what I want to do actually, I want to use this uh, joystick, uh, joystick model uh, with two potentiometers inside and I want to, to control the stepper with some axis. I'm not sure if this is X or Y or I don't, uh, I don't really care. So I have connected here uh, ground and power and 5 volts so I will plug them also here to ground and 5 volt and here on the gray I have a X on the purple is it purple? I don't know uh, on the not blue and the one which is less blue than the other uh, purple, I call it purple so gray is X and purple is Y so these are analog signals X and Y, I will connect them to analog 0 and analog and this would be the switch, I connect it simply to here I don't use the switch, or not right now ok, so what I want to do is if I'm moving this the, the servo motor should also move yeah? so I have to read in an analog, analog signal and the servo motor should follow it's not a servo motor the stepper motor, of course, the stepper motor, servo motor. It's not an, it's an open loop configuration, not a closed loop configuration like a servo motor would be. Okay. Okay, so at the computer. This is now uh, the program from last time. Yeah? So I have to read in, analog read, the signals from the signal. Yeah? And I will call this integer yeah? x axis equals analog read I read from zero okay and I will have a static int old x axis in the beginning it should be 512 this I will shift up here shift up here and I will say if old x axis not equal x axis I will say stepper dot move the difference uh, old x axis minus x axis and the old x axis equals x axis is this already it? Is this already it? This I can remove. Goodbye, goodbye. So I'm reading in the value. I compare it with the value I already sent to the stepper motor. I store the value I've sent to the stepper motor. If this stays the same, it will not move. Okay, upload. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Uh, uploaded. All right, so power on. Ooh, this is for sure wrong. <laughs> this is for sure wrong. <laughs> okay, if you move. It seems we have some noise there. <laughs> we have even a trend. Ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good. No, this is not good. Turn this off. Mm. It seems like I have some noise, some noise on the signal. So I will put something out. I will put something out. So I will make serial dot begin. Okay, it took longer than I expected. It always takes longer than I expected. 115, 200. What is this? I don't need this. Okay. And now I'll make serial dot print 
and we print line and our print x axis. Let's see what is happening here. Well, it looks pretty stable, 440. And if I turn something on here, why is this moving? 400. Why is this moving? <sighs> it's still moving, you see. But why? I always read 494, sometimes maybe 493. Why is this moving? Okay. I have to smooth this a little bit. I have to reduce the noise. I have to clearly reduce the noise. Yeah, I will write. Simply make an output more, one output more. What could have one output more? Move X. Not space X, move X. Else, I will also make a print line. Then it should look pretty, pretty, pretty nice, I guess. Let's see. Okay, we have some noise on it. We have some noise on it. You know what? I will make an insensitivity area. Yeah? So let's make this five. Yeah? Let's, let's do this. This move X I will use here. What was this? Okay, move X, I go into here, and here I say if move X absolute of move X is bigger than 5, then we're moving. Okay, sometimes it's still, but it's much better. Okay, it's much better. Let's see what's happening if I move. Okay, maybe I should just. Maybe I should just. Uh, make this a little bit bigger. Ten. It's just. It's just. Adjustment with it. Now it's stable. Maybe have some interference as well. Okay, one thing I will change. 
One thing I will change, I will change this to micro stepping. Okay. Change this to micro steps. That's four. Why not? Then this should not move too far. Let's see if this is now working. Huh? This looks now pretty nice. Good. Good. I'm satisfied. So I can control now with my joystick the position of my of my stepper motor. Sometimes it's a little bit still, but my own. No, no, not. All right. What was the x-axis? This was the x-axis. I will use the y-axis. I will use separate a second, second motor, second motor. Yeah, baby, second motor. One with X, one with Y. Then we could balance something. <laughs> yeah. This we'll do next video. Next video, attach a second motor and see how this is working with this XY. For this time, thank you very much for listening. And goodbye.